Welcome to a new chronicle with the Blue Cat Audio. My name is Pierre from the Guitar Channel. I am here with Guillaume. Guillaume, how are you doing uh, today? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. All right, so today we are going to show you how to start uh, with a guitar, an audio interface, and start uh, to build uh, sound from scratch uh, within uh, Axiom, right? That's the program? Yes, All indeed. Right. Where do we start? Well, we just launched Axiom, so we start with an empty patch, so okay. it, it's pretty dry. Mm -hmm. There's basically nothing, okay. no amp sim, nothing. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to start with the amp, right? Yeah, that would make sense. So let's uh, look for a clean amp. Uh, I'm going to look, it for, look for it here in the uh, preset menu. Mm -hmm. um, let's, let's go through a couple of clean tones and, and select the one we want, okay. right? Yeah, sounds yeah. good, yeah. Okay. And we would do exactly the same, you know, in a guitar store where we, you, you would plug from one amp to another. So you start with the amp, makes sense. And it's pretty, it's much faster this way. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm much cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's say I'm happy with this one. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some reverb because yeah. it's still a bit dry. Uh, so I'm going to click uh, after, so in the post effects, which mm -hmm. are after the amp. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to select uh, reverb. Uh, so it's there, uh, oh, the reverb, and again I can select a preset there. Um, or oh, I can touch, I guess, the parameter myself uh, straight ahead. Yes, of mm -hmm. course, but mm -hmm. uh, usually you want to start with presets. Yeah. It's, it's easier, like this one. I think it's a bit too a bit too long, so I'm going to reduce the length. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a pre delay I don't want. I want to hear the reverb right away. <coughs> And maybe let's increase the dry, decrease the weight. Mm -hmm. A bit more weight, maybe. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have our clean amp, our reverb. Uh, maybe let's add a pedal in front of the amp. Yeah, so that because I want to do a solo, uh, so okay. I need some dirt. Okay, let's add some dirt. So I'll go into the uh, distortion plugins in mm -hmm. there. Uh, which one I'm, I'm gonna try? Uh, maybe the plexi drive. Let's see how it goes with this amp. Uh, it's a bit too, a bit too harsh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try another one. Um, I like the. There's the one which is overdrive. This one should be fine. Yes. I'm decreasing the tone because it's a bit. Oh, not bad. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Skip this one. Yeah. Turn it off to just to see the balance between the clean tone and. Uh Again, we would do basically the same thing and when we would use a hardware pedal, put the pedal here in front of the amplifier and fine tune the level of distortion, of gain, of tone and everything. Yeah, maybe this one is a bit too heavy, so I'm going to reduce the gain so that there's better balance between the clean and the uh, okay. audio sound. Mm -hmm. so. Maybe a bit too much reverb there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna reduce uh, maybe the length of the reverb and the ref reflexibility, so it will have less reflections there. <coughs> yeah, it sounds like a room. I prefer okay. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the difference between pre and post is that, is that pre is so in front of the amplifier. So whatever you put in front 
is going to impact the sound of the amplifier when what you put post is basically what you would put in a studio like a, a stereo effect, delay and stuff like that? Yes, yeah. uh, or maybe sometimes you want to put that in the effects loop. Okay. Uh, it's mm -hmm. important that it's after uh, after the distortion stage. Okay. Uh, and uh, but the over, uh, but the overdrive we put it before the amp because mm -hmm. you want to have the simulation of the uh, cabinet. Otherwise, if I put maybe I can show you if I put the overdrive after. Yeah. Let's try this. It's gonna sound really harsh. Yeah. Okay. Get ready. Uh, it was better before. Right. Let's say now we want to move from ACDC to U2, and I want to have a dotted eight uh, ping pong uh, delay. Can you do this, uh, Guillaume? Sure, of course. Yeah. Uh, let's load the delay uh, after the uh, reverb. Yeah. After, because we want uh, want it to be in stereo. Yes, and mm -hmm. so we have uh, maybe let's use the digital delay. Yes. U2 is more sure. digital. <laughs> can increase maybe this so it's the ping pong So you saw it was super easy in a couple of minutes to start from scratch, from the DI sound, and just to have a quite a elaborate sound with drive or no drive, a cool amplifier sound, and then some stereo effect in the post section. Yes. Let's maybe add a chorus. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to the 90s. Uh, so <laughs> I, I'm going to move the delay after and the yeah. reverb. I want to, for some reason, I want to put it before the reverb. Mm -hmm. uh, and so. Uh, it's outside of the screen, but there's a section called modulation effects mm -hmm. there, and we take the chorus. Uh, <coughs> this one is a bit too heavy. <laughs> Let's get the classic one. All right, so I have, yeah, I like it. So I have created my perfect sound. Now I need to save it because I don't want to forget it, right? I don't want to do this over and over. So what, what do I do? So you click on the, the preset menu here yeah. for the whole um, action preset. Yeah. And you click Save As. And you select the location where you want to put it. Uh, I'm going to put Choose it. Choose the name and uh, I'm done. So it's uh, my sound. Here you go, and next time you want to reload it, it's there. Okay, perfect. Easy. Anything else we need to know to build the guitar sound, or we're done? I think we're done. Let's play. Let's play, yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 